What is going on everyone? This is Unlikely Waffle here. Welcome back to another redstone build. Today we are going to be taking a look at this here cocoa farm. It grows 36 pods at one time with about 2-3 to three beans per pod. This is for if you really want to grow a ton of brown dye at a time. All you have to do is press this button here once they're all grown. And all the hoppers will collect most of these beans. As you can see it won't collect all of them at once but it's a very small amount that will drop. As you can see, just from that one batch, we've gotten one full stack plus about three quarters of another stack of cocoa beans. However, if that is still not enough brown dye for you, you can, of course, expand this upwards as far as you want. The only supplies that you're going to need for this build are 36 jungle wood logs, 12 regular pistons, 32 block of your choice, two redstone repeaters, 9 redstone torches, 2 chests, 6 hoppers, 6 stairs of your choice, 9 redstone dust, and 1 button. It can be either stone or wood. As I said before, this is expandable upwards as much as you want. For each additional level, which means for 2 more complete levels just like these, you're going to need 12 jungle wood logs, 4 pistons, 8 block of your choice, and 4 redstone torches. And of course, for all this, you are going to want cocoa beans to start growing this. You can also use bone meal on it if you don't want to wait for it to grow naturally. We are going to be building this in a 10x4 area. It's pretty narrow, so it'll fit into many places. We're going to start off by placing a line of six logs coming one block off the ground. Center it so that way we have two blocks on either side empty. Then we're going to place another five lines just like this on top and fill it in so that way we have a 6x6 six six square. Once this is done, we're going to come around to the right side and place a line of regular pistons coming one block off the side of the logs. Then we're going to repeat this on the other side, except that this time, the pistons are going to be touching the logs themselves. Make sure to go all the way to the top with all these pistons. For the redstone, we are going to place one block next to the bottom piston here, alternating every other block upwards. Going to do another line next to that, just making sure that all the corners are touching. Do make sure to make all these blocks go all the way to the bottom. Do the same thing on this side. The only difference with this side is that we are going to place two blocks just like this. Put one repeater facing into that block, just like that, and your other repeater facing into that block. Both of them are on one tick delays. Grab your redstone torches and fill in all of these gaps with them. Do the same thing on both sides, so that way all these pistons are going to get powered. What this does is that it creates a redstone tower all the way to the top. Coming back around to the front, we're going to place a double chest right in the middle of this front row, and then place two hoppers feeding into the back of that chest. This is going to be collecting all of the cocoa beans that will drop. Then, of course, place two hoppers feeding into each of those hoppers from the sides. Because this is not the best looking thing right now, we're going to place a line of three stairs on either side of the chest, just to make it look a little bit more polished. Finish that up by placing a ring of blocks all the way around the logs. We're almost done with this build. All you have to do is place a line of redstone dust connecting these two repeaters, and then a line going around the back underneath all of the logs, and coming to rest underneath this block right here. That's the block on which you are going to place your button, press it, and make sure that everything is working. And indeed it is. Although you may think you are, you are not completely done with this build. That is because what cocoa bean farm is complete without the actual cocoa beans growing. Just fill in all of these spaces with your cocoa beans and wait for them to grow or use bone meal to force the grow. Once these are completely grown, just press the button and this will shift, making them all pop off and go into the hoppers. As you can see, some of them won't make it in, which is somewhat inevitable as the build is right now. However, 
If you want to make this a little bit more efficient, you can always place a line of glass going all across the front. Just make sure that you can actually still hit all of these logs when you are placing the cocoa beans on them. As I said before, this is completely tileable. You can go upwards as far as you want. I'm not going to make a tutorial on that part of it though, because all you have to do is copy these two lines here all the way across and go upwards as far as you want. Then again, if you are on the other hand and you don't have much space, you can always compress this down into a quite a small area. All you have to do is cut off all the levels above this one right here and push this in so that way this repeater is resting on this block right here. You just have to make sure that there is a signal going right here so that way both sides can get the signal that they need. But that is all I've got time for for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this redstone build, and if you did, please feel free to leave a like and a comment below, and I will see you next time. So long, everyone.